<sighs> All right, yeah. I'm still about, unfortunately. I'm like a bad rash. I'm just, just here to irritate you for as long as I possibly can. Satin people, thank you very much for clicking on the video. It's much appreciated as ever. If you're new around here, basically I just react to things on YouTube. Well, when I actually decide to post videos, that is. Consistency hasn't really been my strong point lately. Can't lie. For the regulars that aren't so regular anymore because I'm not regular. But yeah, going forward, I'm going to be more dedicated to the channel again. Right, but so because I've been off the last few weeks, I've only just realised that apparently our good old buddy old pal, you know, the king of 3am, IMJ Station, has actually been removed from YouTube. Like, OMG, can't believe it. Wow. Well, I can believe it. You know, better late than never and all that. And apparently it's for good this time, so yeah. Bloody hell, where am I going to get me 3am with Elmo fix now? Gah, life just keeps getting shitter. So for a bit of context and for those of you that don't know, I myself have made quite a, quite a few videos on Jay over the last few years. Feel free to go and check them out if you, if you really want. Don't blame me if you don't want to, but you know, the offer's there. Yeah. So yeah, so what's led up to this moment basically is a few things that Jay has done over the past few years that are a bit questionable. Things like making money off of celebrities that died a few hours ago, because that's what decent humans do. Oh, bear in mind, this is a uh, kid's channel, right? Also, he faked his girlfriend's death for about a month. That, that drags on a bit. It was an emotional time. Guys, last night we lost Alexia. <laughs> Yeah. And also, every now and then, he uh, bought a slave from the dark web. Bloody hell. So yeah, five years later, YouTube was finally like, you know what? I think we've uh, had enough of this. It needs to be stopped. Cool. <laughs> well done, YouTube. You know, better late than ever, but bloody hell, you took your time about it, didn't you? Now, I'm not one for, you know, this whole cancel culture. And I know I make videos on people's videos, but you know, it's not because I hate them or anything. It's just easy comedy. Really. But at the exact same time, people need to be aware that they've got to accept consequences for the choices they made. And sometimes the choices they make aren't the best of choices. No. Because what happened was, his main channel got banned and demonetized. But then he made another channel called 666, I think it was, where he was just like reacting to like games and things like that. Like it was genuine stuff. But from what I know, which isn't much, but I try. When when a channel gets like demonetized and like taken off of YouTube, I'm pretty sure every related channel to that channel kind of goes along with it. So I think he kind of just like slipped under the radar with that one temporarily. But then YouTube have been like, oh, he's, he's still making money from another channel. We better, uh, better do something about that. So <laughs> One year later, nothing quite like efficiency. <laughs> yeah, they decide, right, you can't make any money from YouTube anymore at all. And Jay wasn't too happy about this, no. But he can't deny the fact that he's been a bit of a dum-dum when it comes to his, you know, child-friendly content. And that's what cracks up with all these channels. They claim they're like, oh, we do this for kids and that. Horrors are generally like 15s and 18s. For a reason. Do you know what I mean? They don't, they don't just throw that number out there for shits and giggles. There's genuine reasons behind it. I mean, I used to watch Gruesome Kids for... No, Gruesome Towels for Grizzly Kids. Remember that program with that old geezer that used to sit there and be like, Hey, we've got a creepy story today. I mean, I don't think he said that, but y you know what I mean. That, that was horror for a kid. Do you know what I'm saying? And I'm bloody someone actually dying and mourning someone. Guys, last night we lost Alexia. <laughs> To a drunk driver, guys. I mean, it's a bit deep for a kid, isn't it? Bloody hell. But the funniest thing about all this is, right, <laughs> that Jay Station just, he just ain't having it. He, he just ain't having none of it. And he posted a video on Twitter the other day, literally saying that he's gonna sue YouTube. For what, bruv? Like, you've been posting dodgy content for years. You've been lucky to make money off it for the amount of time that you did. But suing YouTube? Yeah, good luck, mate. The thing is, YouTube don't even have to try. All they'd have to do is just literally just do a brief search of Jay Station. They'd find so much ammo that they'd have over him. It would it'd just be game over. You know, I'm all up for like, standing your ground and, you know, fighting for what you believe in. But sometimes you just need to admit defeat. I just can't imagine it's going to go well for you. But, you know, if you want to try... Fair play to you. But anyway, let's have a look at this, this video that Jay released 
showing his pure emotion and devastation about the cancelling of his channels. I just want to say thank you to every one of my fans who supported me through everything that's ever happened. Uh, I really appreciate you so much. Yeah, I mean, it's because they're only young and they don't understand. Give them a couple more years, mate, and they'd be clued up and they'd be like, why the fuck was I watching this? And to the haters, like, I, I really don't know what you're celebrating for because the fact of how random this really was. Wasn't, wasn't really random, though, was it, Jay? No, I mean, you've kind of got a bit of a track record of fuck-ups. I mean, even if you look on Wikipedia, which is obviously the most reliable source of information on the internet ever, but the first thing that pops up, controversies, contacting dead celebrities, Walt Disney World arrest, assault and fake death of girlfriend, impersonation of a police officer, fake arrest of girlfriend, false claims about COVID-19 pandemic. Now saying that it's random is a bit, well, random, really, because it wasn't random. It's quite, it's quite obvious, really, that it had to come to this. You might be the nicest guy in real life, but you know, actions speak louder than words. Anyway, see what other words you've got to say. I wasn't um, demonetized because I faked someone's death. You know, Mick Juggernaut gets faked his dad's death live on YouTube, bro. Everybody thought it was real. The police had thousands of people call the police station. There's been YouTubers faking their death that they died of cancer. They're good. I do agree with him on the fact that even in my short time on YouTube, I see that it seems that certain people can get away with doing really bad things and then other people make the slightest fuck up and they're gone. But it's not a slight fuck up, is it, Jay? No, it's a, it's a consistent fuck up. If you've just done one fuck up in the five years, fair enough, you've, you've got reason to argue, but it's the consistency. It's, it's not gonna do you any favors. But good news is, guys, I guess they just don't wanna see my face. So, I'm gonna have a channel on YouTube. It's gonna be big, but I can't tell anybody. Well, how can you have a big YouTube channel if you don't tell anyone about it? Isn't that kind of the, the, the purpose of YouTube? To, you know, to let people know you've got a channel. You know what, I'm gonna make a new channel and I hope that no one watches it. Cause you know, that's the dream right there. <laughs> Might be a bit dodgy and kind of against YouTube because they're basically saying, look, we don't want you on our platform. And he's like, well, I'm going to be on your platform whether you like it or not. Just going to be like a little secret squirrel about it all. So, yeah, it's the end of I'm Jay Station as what we know it. But maybe we might just hear his voice popping up in the future. But we might not because, you know, he's not going to tell anyone about it. So, can't wait to see how that turns out. <laughs> But yeah, anyway, I thought that was a bit of a bit of random drama that's gone on since I've not been about and being that I've made quite a few videos on Jay, I thought I'd update you all with that. But anyway, that is it for today's video. Sorry it's a bit of a short one, a bit like me. Ha! <laughs> Girl, still got the cool jokes, as you can as you can see. Anyway, I'll be back with a video next week. Enjoy the rest of your day, take care, and I'll see you soon. Laters on.